So as you all know, once Kimmy Cakes keeps talking like hell, we'll keep reporting. No excuse, no pardon, because guess what? We hate to see a damn disgusting lie. So let's talk about it. Now, Kim Kardashian is saying that um, she feels responsible. She feels guilty. Guilty is the word, not responsible. She feels guilty that she posted what she posted, saying that she stand with the Jewish community because she believes that after she made that post, that's when Ish went left for Ye and Brand started dropping him. She was like, should I have kept quiet? Like, did I push that, right? That's what she's saying. So she feels guilty about that. I'm going to show you what Kim did only hours after that post. Now, the reality is, no one is perfect. But if Kim was feeling guilty at any point in time, do you think that hours after she made that post, she would be posing in the two major brands that canceled her kid's legacy hours after? She has no guilt. She has no remorse. And I'm happy that the internet is even speaking out against it. So take a look at the photo, Adidas shirt, Balenciaga boots, the two brands that canceled Ye, two major brands, right? No, what I find interesting is that people are realizing what I have been saying. Kim did not only just you know, stood there and say, let's burn him. She also betrayed her kids because when you're standing against your kid's legacy, when you're promoting the cancellation of your kid's legacy, that is betrayal. And some people really do not get it. We have heard already that she had to make that post. So no one is even focusing on the post that she made that she stands with the Jewish community. Because whether she had to make the post or not, for you to say you stand with people, you believe in love, you believe in unity, you believe in oneness, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But after you do that, your actions afterwards will actually say, are you for oneness? Are you for unity? Are you for love? No, she's not because you clearly went ahead and after you cut that man open, you poured some salt in his wounds. And the internet is now saying that Kim needs to stop talking because Ye has moved on with her life, with, with his life. And when Ye needed Kim the most, Kim did not stand up for him. And I'm just so happy that more people are speaking out against this. The internet is standing 10 toes down behind. Yay. People are saying, you know what? I like Kim. But in that moment, Ye really needed her. And instead of her, you know, providing some, you know, some type of support to him, she basically threw him in that ditch. She assisted consciously it's not as though she wasn't conscious about doing it she consciously did that shift and she kept replicating her steps to ensure that her husband at the time no ex-husband would have been totally ruined now people may say but yes said what he said yes yes said what he said but kim came together with the objects to destroy him and she showed no remorse you know when kim started showing remorse when he started trending again when she realized that his steps were ordained by god not by man and he can't be canceled she was like oh guys don't judge me for working out in my easy slides why didn't she do that after she made that post about standing with the Jewish community instead of wearing Adidas and Balenciaga hours after? Why did she say, you know what? We're still standing with Yeezy. Let's separate the artist from his troubles. She didn't have that ounce of decency. So people are just tired of her because they're not seeing a loyal woman. They're not seeing a woman who gave back not even 5% to a man that built her entire career. Kim was known as an influencer before Ye. After Ye, she's known as a business mogul, a giant. And that's all thanks to her husband, who she openly admitted got her through certain doors that no one would have ever thought about working with her until him. He fought for her honor. He fought for her pride. 
and all she did was to stab him in the back repeatedly, betraying her kids, disrespect him, try to make him unstable, try to get him in a conservatorship when she realized that all her efforts have failed because we have always said it, Ye is divinely protected. It's no secret. It should be in black and white to everyone at this time. Ye's life story is something that we only read out of the Bible. This is not something that I have ever witnessed personally. Ye has strengthened my belief in God like anything else. I've never seen anything like this. So because of Ye, many people are standing firm in their belief. Because of ye, people realize that when you walk the straight and narrow path in life, what is bound for you cannot be for anyone else. And Kim, what is happening to her today? She's getting her karma exactly as she deserves. You make your bed, you're going to lay in it, Kim. You reap what you have sown. You never meant well when it comes to this man. You were just there for clout and attention. And as soon as he wasn't well enough to give you all of that, you were like, I'm out of here. I don't care if shit hits the fan. And as such, this is how people have lost respect for you. And this is why you're just one of the most undesirable women for any man to be with this day and age. But I want to hear from you guys because guess what? I've included the comments for you to see for yourselves that the internet is standing 10 toes down behind ye. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all next time. Bye guys!